Hello, my name is Belina Wright, painter of Color and Life. I am a Haitian contemporary artist and uh, I am of Haitian descent. My mom is American and my dad is Haitian. And these have truly influenced um, the subject of what I paint. I paint primarily Haitian artwork that celebrates the Haitian community, Haitian life and culture and music. And I also paint African-American pieces of black families and community and togetherness. So I believe these have really been some big influences uh, in my life. And also the main influence of my work is God, because I am a self-taught, I like to say God-taught artist. I uh, didn't go to school, I have formal training to create. It was just a gift that uh, God blessed me with that I just discovered when I was about mm, 20 years old. 20, no, about 24 years old and just experimenting with painting and continuing to experiment over the years and learn until I was be able, has been, have been able to paint. Uh, right now I'm focusing on works that um, celebrate Haitian culture and tell the story of the Haitian people and to celebrate the culture and their resilience. And um, I actually applied for a grant that I'm hoping that I get um, to bring the Haitian culture to the community through music and art and um, readings and the language. So I'm working on uh, a proposal right now. My biggest challenge as an artist so far has been this social media jungle of trying to be creative and stay creative and then capture it on camera. I find it very stifling and um, I wish there was another way around it of getting your work out, but uh, <laughs> social media is necessary to get the word out that you are an artist, that you have work. And it really has been beneficial because um, it is, opened up ways for more artists to be seen. So it's definitely necessary, but it is a challenge for me to um, show my work and be creative and still find time to post amidst everything. Because I am a wife, I am a mom of four and an artist at the same time. So it's a bit of a juggle, but uh, that's what I find challenging so far. Advice I would give to my younger self is to keep that untamed spirit that you had uh, when you begin it, when you began painting and to be free. I find that I overthink a bit now when I'm working and painting and creating. And I remember when I first started out, I had, I didn't care. <laughs> I painted what I want. I used the colors that I want. I just created, created, created. It didn't, I didn't overthink and so to my younger self I would say definitely keep that same spirit of freedom when you're creating for unconventional mediums I don't think I've done anything really unconventional but I just I'm willing to paint on anything I mean I've painted on walls on clothes on furniture um, bottles and glass and wood pretty much anything i can get my hands on cardboard i have a couple pieces of cardboard that i've painted some pieces on um i just want to paint i want to create so i just anything i can get my hands on and i can put some paint you know adhere to it i'll paint on it so if that is unconventional then yes <laughs> i have when i'm painting i always listen to music i always listen to music I think it, um, I don't know, it kind of, it kind of gives you like an energy, it gives you a vibe, it puts you in a state of, of being creative. I listen to a lot of, uh, Christian music and I, I to me, I think, uh, creating is kind of spiritual and, um, I commune a lot and talk and pray with God a lot when I, pr when I'm creating. And, um, I remember reading the Bible and it talks about Exodus and how, um, when he was asking the people to make the temple uh, for him and the pieces and the curtains and everything, God put it into their minds to be able to create these things. And so I, I prayed that same prayer, God, please, you know, you know, put the creativity in my mind to be able to do these things, to be able to create. And, um, you know, and there isn't a piece that I haven't prayed <laughs> 
paid, prayed through um, on how to complete it. And God will just give me a breakthrough and I will be able to finish. Oh, OK. He'll give me direction on how to finish the piece. And um, a lot of the times when I'm finished, I'm like, wow, Lord, you really did that. You really gave me the idea on what to do on how to finish this piece. Um, the best reaction that someone has given me when creating my work uh, was when I was in an exhibition in Atlanta and I had a Haitian art piece. It was these eight women, they were standing and they had their, you know, their Haitian clothes on. They had their uh, scarves, the Haitian scarves that they had on. And she saw that piece and she immediately just picked it up and purchased it. And she said, this piece reminds me of me and my sisters. And I was so touched because it was so completely unrelated from the Haitian culture, but she was able to um, make that connection when she saw the images of the women in the paintings. And a lot of my work uh, is faceless. And I did that purposely so that um, people will just see themselves in the work. I don't want it to be somebody specific. It's just, I want them to be able to see themselves just like this woman did when she purchased this work of these eight women. Um, when people see my work, I want them to, um, get to know and experience, uh, Haitian art, Haitian culture, and to see the stories that I'm telling through my work and to, uh, change the narrative that I see so prevalent in Haiti that I see portrayed of Haiti and, um, to show the beauty of the people and the resilience of the people, uh, when they see my work. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to share my story and to share my work. Thank you. I'm Belina Wright.